हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल रिव्यू दिस बिग पैकेज लेंस इट इज ए वेरी बिग बॉक्स इट इज ए 1.33x एक्स अनामर्फिक लेंस इट इज ए फिल्म लेंस मीन्स इट इज फॉर वीडियो एंड यू कैन क्रिएट वेरी सिनेमेटिक वीडियोज विथ द एक्सपेक्ट रेशियो ऑफ टू पॉइंट फोर जीरो इज टू वन यू कैन टेक ऑल्सो फोटोज विथ सिक्सटीन इज टू नाइन एक्सपेक्ट रेशियो एंड यू कैन क्रिएट हॉलीवुड स्टाइल दिस लेंस प्लेयर्स दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन लेंस प्लेयर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिव्यूड द कासे अनामर्फिक लेंस एंड यू मस्ट हैव चेक दैट वीडियो so from that video you can get what is an anamorphic lens what is the use so without wasting our time let's open this box and this box is very hard as you can see and this is very hard this is a very big box why this is very big because i have bought lens case for my huawei p20 pro and the lens so that's why this box is very big if you buy only the lens with the universal clip then the box size will be smaller and what else is written this side it increases the horizontal field of view by 33% as you know anamorphic lenses are wide angle lens so they give wide angle field of view that's why it increases your your field of view by 33% it will change your aspect ratio from 16:9 to 2.40:9 and all other stuff so organic flares you will get cinema grade glass are used aluminum body it preserve full sensor resolution so there will be no black border or anything with this lens so let's open this lens as you can see inside the lens package you will see this fast package this package is inside this package you will get a lens case for this anamorphic lens and this lens case is used for huawei p20 pro so let's open this lens package as you can see inside this package we are getting a very beautiful this type of case which will hold our anamorphic lens in this either this screw or this screw so we can shoot using any of this three uh, two cameras this is the third camera which is a monochrome camera in my huawei p20 pro so that will not be of any use we can use the telephoto lens or the primary camera and this is the flash so perfectly it is very nice texture is inside this and you can see this diamond shaped patterns this is leather made and the it feels very nice this is very light and this part is i think some metal or hard plastic is there it looks like some metal i think aluminum metal is there i can remind you that this case is not same as the other cases by my pixel because this uh, lens case this lens mounting size is very less than the 17 mm so if you are buying this lens if need lens case then this will be only fit for the anamorphic lens this you cannot put any other lens inside inside this lens screw so that one thing you have to remember next i will put this here next what you can see inside the box is the lens bag inside the lens bag you will find out the lens lens bag from the box and put it here what else is inside the box you can see nothing else one universal clip and a apexel branded cleaning cloth is there so let me put this cleaning cloth inside and we will get this much things inside this so if you are buying only the lens then without the lens case then you will get a lens bag and a lens inside and a universal cleaning a universal clip and a cleaning cloth so this again i i will remind you that this is not 17 mm thread so you cannot plug any of the other lenses by pixel or any other company it is only made for this animal anamorphic lens so this is the lens clip you need to plug your anamorphic lens so let me open this 
take the lens inside and here is the lens it looks very nice as you can see it is written 1.33 x anamorphic lens and it looks very nice and this is protected by just a front part is just by a polythene some cover and this back side is a plastic cap is there so that's nice let me remove this front part how to plug this just you have to plug it on this camera or this camera in my case I can put it here and just rotate it done it is fixed in this case there is no need to screw it light this spring mechanism is very nice you just have to put this top there is something bottom there is something so you have to put like this and rotate towards left and this is screwed this is very nice very easy and if you are using the case same mechanism you have to put either here or here so if you are putting on the top lens okay so now i understood that you can only put it in the middle that is the main camera of yp20 pro and then screw towards left so that's done so this is how this lens will be fixed and currently i am shooting from the yp20 pro so i cannot able to show you what will be the output so that's why what we will do we will use the clip and we will bring our realme xt and we'll try to put it on top of this phone so for plugging it let me remind you this is the primary camera the second camera this top one is the wide angle camera so in wide angle camera there is no facility for video shooting now so we have to plug it on top of the this uh, main camera only so that's why first we will do what we have to plug this lens clip correctly at the middle of this camera and then what we will do we have to rotate it so that this clip will be perfectly in the middle one thing i have to tell you that as this is a quad camera setup this lens clip will not be fit perfectly on top of this camera because if I will put like this and if I will give pressure here then what will happen you can see there is a little gap if I will give pressure here then this part will come out so what will happen your lens will not be perfectly placed on top of this camera so that is the one problem you can face if you have a long camera setup if your camera is not bulgy like this if it is on top flat on, on the surface of this back cover then you can plug this lens clip very easily because it is coming outside little bit this part so that's why this lens clip plugging will be little bit problem if you have a dual camera like this then this clip will be perfectly fitting this two holes so there is no problem but if you have a quad camera setup or triple camera like this then this clip might create some problem but still you can manage to uh, capture using this lens that's not a problem and again as i have told if this your camera will be very uh, bottom from the top then it will be very difficult to put this lens as you can see if this fingerprint will be your camera position then this clip cannot reach to that part so in some models like uh, oneplus 660 6, or 770 7 pro the cameras are too far from the top so in that case this clip might not might not able to clip 
in this you know, might not able to reach to the camera primary camera then you cannot able to use this lens or this clip so it is of no use for oneplus and realme x you forget about put using this lens in realme x most of the lenses are up no, they cannot be used on realme x so these are the this is the one thing you have to remember while you are buying purchasing this type of lens and okay no problem we we have our case so we will put it on our case and we'll try this lens so let's go out Okay, so this is the output from the lens, anamorphic lens of Pepexel. As you can see, with lens, this is without lens. With lens, without lens. As you can see, this is the field of view by this anamorphic lens. So, one more thing if you try to rotate this lens, then you will get some kind of effect as you can see now the houses are tilted towards light now this is straight they are tilting towards right because I am rotating this like this left and right so always keep this lens in horizontal way like this so that you can able to perfectly fix it as a wide angle and then you start shooting so that's one thing you have to remember 
so after attaching this lens lens is attached and you can see this house to that house everything is completely in focus and completely inside the field of view so that is the anamorphic lens field of view test you have seen the review to summarize this review let me tell you this lens quality is very nice this glass is very nice the build quality is very nice but the output wise i can tell you there is no distortion from this lens only one problem is that it needs very high intensity source to show the uh, light flare so that is the only problem in case of case lens you can see with small light source also you will get a very nice uh, that light flare a horizontal light flare with case lens but with apex lens you will get very high intensity source light source then only you will get the horizontal light flare so that is the only problem with this lens but in some cases this that is good because people will not uh, if you are a, uh, maybe if you are a very good videographer then you will not uh, need a very high intensity Uh, horizontal light flare but you will uh, you need a soft light flare so in that case this apex uh, number pick lens is very nice and in case of case you will get a very night nice, very high intensity light flare so that some few videographer will think that this that is distracting so in that case so it all depends upon your who is filming and what is his test so that is the difference between this and case lens let me know and vote above i have given one pull on the top right hand side you can see a card so in that you can vote and let me know which lens you have loved so are you going for case lens or you are going for a apex anamorphic lens and let me tell you remind you that case lens is i think 2000 rupees more than this lens 2000 or maybe 1000 rupees more costly than this lens so that is the difference and i don't like this type of clip design because this clip is only suitable for only maybe 50% of today's new cameras it is very good for maybe for iphone but it is not good for any other um, brand uh, mobile phones because this lens case this uh, lens uh, arrangements are different for different phones so creating a such type of lens clip universal lens clip is no more universal so better i will ask a pixel to create such a clip type of design not like this you shaped design just create a clip type of design you can clip it and your lens is fit on top of your camera so that is a problem this is not 100% compatible with all the phones so this is the end of this review if you like the review or you want to ask anything just comment below this video and do like and share with your friends if you want and subscribe button is there and below of this video thank you for watching and i will see you in next review video Thank you.